Europeans, how far will you drive before opting to take a plane? I don't own a car, I take the train. Works great. About 400 miles. I wanted to go from Swansea to Edinburgh about 450 miles once and decided to book a flight instead. The most I've driven is Swansea to Lancaster which was about 250 miles. It's not just the distance. You have to consider the driving conditions and roads. You can go really far in the US on wide, straight roads. It's much more tiring when the roads are really twisty, which they usually are in Europe. Depends on the destination, why I am traveling, and what is fitting my plans and budget. Train and buses are also an option, especially if you want to go somewhere where there are not a lot of options in terms of flying. Within a 1000 km radius, I for me, would say I am okay taking the train or car so long it is reasonable to take it, above that I would prefer flights. Europe has very good rail and bus links when compared with the USA, which many will use instead of very long drives, and which prevent high carbon emissions from short flights. Live in Netherlands, if I have to travel to Paris train, if I travel to Germany car, because you don't know if those Germans DB are striking again or if the train you are switching to there will show up on time. Anywhere else I fly Denmark, Sweden, Italy etc. Depending on where I start out from, I can only drive less than 500 km from north to south or vice versa, or less than 300 km west to east or vice versa. After that aim in the Atlantic Ocean, the English Channel, or the Celtic Sea, so if I have to go further it will be by plane or boat. I have driven these distances before. The west coast of Ireland from Donegal to Cork can take 7 hours or so. The option of flying no longer exists, as the wee airport in Carrickfin doesn't run flights to the south anymore. 4 hours in, I'd rather sprout wings than sit more. I live in Bologna, Italy, with 1 hour drive I could ski or I could go to the beach, and it's okay, 2 hour and a half to go to Milan it start to be a lot, so I take the high speed train for just 1 hour. If it pass 4 hour drive, and I can't take the train for like Naples I probably take the plane because with low cost company it's cheaper than the car. I'm from Estonia, if I were to travel to Finland then ferry, if to Sweden then ferry or if I wanted to get there fast then plane, to Latvia by car, to Lithuania probably by plane, but some people would probably drive as well. Poland definitely by plane and anything more south from Poland as well because Poland is huge. We currently don't have a railway to connect us to the rest of Europe, but we have some buses so a plane is the most convenient way of travel. I keep hearing about how Europeans think an hour or two is a far drive sorry what? From who? Four hours is my breaking point. Europe's small, but not that small. I mean crossing your entire country is a long trip, in relation to every other trip you might take inside your country, I mean here in England for example I could drive from the northernmost point to the southernmost point, and still only have driven for a few hours traffic permitting for us this would still be a very long drive despite only taking a few hours, because it's the only time you're likely to be driving for that long inside the country. A lot of people opt to take a plane instead for that journey just, because it can cut their travel time down to a quarter of what it otherwise would be and in some cases it can even work out cheaper. Really depends on the overall situation if there is a quick and affordable train connection that's probably my first choice except if I have to bring a lot of stuff or multiple people are coming then the car might be a good choice too, but that really depends on the road situation there are nice and not so nice roads and also nice and not so nice times to drive on these roads like holiday season will get you into endless jams then if there is a cheap plane ticket that might be great but also depends on airport location and if it's really worth it in terms of saving time if I take a plane from Berlin to Munich I can as well take the super fast train that goes there in the same time considering my distance to the airport in the city etc I never took a plane to Paris from Berlin always the car not sure why I guess because it gives me the chance to spontaneously visit another place in France shop at a French supermarket to bring home nice groceries or because French roads are super chill but I wouldn't ever take a car to try and go to Venice the plane tickets are cheap, and it's really not worth driving a day if I can fly for an hour I took an overnight train there once, but wouldn't do it again just lots to consider. I once drive 1000 km, it took me ka.12 hours. You'll take train next time. Train station is in the middle of the city, and airport is so far away, I would need to take the train form airport to the city anyway. People regularly drive from UK to Romania Poland etc. I'm driving 8 hours at the weekend to get where I need to be. There are other factors at play though will I need my car at the destination or is public transport an option, what do I need to take with me etc. Later in the year, I am going a bit further and it would be a 1011 hour drive. 
for the one I am flying, and then splitting costs of a higher car etc. The furthest you can drive in the UK is 8 and 74 miles and it takes about 14-15 hours. I would drive 8 hours, but I would be happy to drive 12-18 hours if I was sharing the drive I would always look at trains and flights for cost and time for any long drives as it might be easier than driving. I took a train to Edinburgh in 4 hours, but the drive is around 6 hours and I didn't need a car once I was there. The cost of the train was 80 yet it would cost around 100 in petrol plus parking cost. 4 hours is a pretty set limit for me. I've often driven to places that are 2 and a half, 3, 3 and a half hours away, I can't remember ever driving anywhere that's 5 or 6 hours away by car. So, 4 seems to be some sort of informal limit my brain has imposed. Depends on the reason. Family visit? All, but once I drive the 700km plane took me longer in time from our house to theirs. For vacation? Even more because of the freedom of taking the car with stuff with us. Up to 1000km in one stretch I think, and with more I will use two days. I would consider the plane or train for a city trip, or if I ever go to a resort. I'm not a huge driving fan, so I'll avoid driving for long as much as possible, but the longest car drive I've been in was like 9-10 hours. I hated it, I feel exhausted after a long car drive. Spain has great train connections if you're in Madrid otherwise it leaves a lot to be desired although thankfully it's changing, and it's expensive, so the only option was the car. Edit, flight shorts than 2 hours where there's a high speed train doing the same travel or band.